Hello everyone, it's Decree here, and welcome back to a Hearts of Iron 4 video. You know guys, I appreciate the lot of you who commented in the previous video, and the most liked thing that I saw on there, the top comment, was specifically telling me that they wanted me to go and play my favorite nation for my favorite mod, and you know what, I, I really do appreciate that. I appreciate the lot of you who are watching this, who actually are looking out for me, and not just wanting to see me tortured, playing all the varying things that can cause a lot of suffering. So thank you, all of you, for all of your support that you've given me over the past couple of years. I really do appreciate it. So you you know what let's go ahead and have some fun with it as you can see we're in the original world of hearts of iron 4 right now we're not actually in a mod because to be honest among all the mods that we have that we could possibly choose from i wouldn't know what exactly to select like if i was going to be choosing an actual mod then it would probably be road to 56 because even if it doesn't have as crazy of paths as we've seen in other things it definitely is perhaps among all of them the most stable and well-built mod that is better for just general purpose playing but then there's the fallout mod there is the my little pony mod there's the all the varying different mods that create all the many different things that is just so much fun. And since I technically already showed off my favorite nation when I showed everyone Catholic, Democratic Mexico and just how broken and overpowered it was, but still a very challenging fight, I think that I've said my piece on that and there's not really much else that I can say. The fascist path in that nation absolutely is a pain in the ass and is not something that you can ever properly play historically. It just, it just doesn't really work. So what is some other minor nation that is able to conquer the entire world and just turn everything into one massive broken mess? Well, how about one that wasn't supposed to fight? Switzerland. Yeah, I have not touched the nation of Switzerland since By Blood Alone came out. Actually, at this point, what, it is August? So that means that this came out something on the lines of almost a year ago at this point. Dang, it has been a while. And Switzerland has seen some updates since it was first released, because I can tell you all this right now, but when it was first released, this thing was even more broken than what it is right now. But without further ado, let's go ahead and launch into it and I'll show what I mean. Switzerland, the sum of what makes a man neutral? Lust for power? Gold? Or were you born with a heart full of neutrality? Zep Brennigan. Oh God, I love that quote. Anyway, Switzerland starts things off in 1936 with a rather interesting position. It it has a what appears to be a decent sized military until you realize that everything in here is composed of very tiny mountaineer units that can't really do much to hold any kind of line but at least we have a somewhat decent industry at the start and that industry is only going to get significantly bigger and i will show you first things first let's go ahead and get some civvy factories built research wise we start with not really any bonuses but we can go ahead and get the basics of our industry underway just to get things started the classic setup as you know military wise we only have four civvy factories so we're going to put three of these on guns and leave one on support equipment and we're going to buy a steel from germany keep them nice and happy with us we don't want to piss them off too much just yet and then focus there's really only one thing to start out with swiss guiding principles the swiss confederation stands as the oldest democracy in the continent but the precipitous pace of change in europe is putting this at risk should we continue the course laid by the agnost i i i i i genosten I join it the shaft and the constitution of 1848 or will a new path reveal itself to us well let's find out now see I say that but technically speaking I've already showed off this path once before that is the neutral path that is down here which is anything but neutral it is the non-aligned Gotzarbund path which is incredibly broken and for whatever reason when I last did this the AI just collapsed you every single time and I, I don't know why but you know what we might as well abuse it if we can all right now Swiss gun principle since this is done we get three different options we must protect our democracy and stay neutral we could be a little bit more proactive but still remain democ democracy de de dem democratic that that's what i mean or neutrality is untenable under these circumstances yes i'm not going with the boring switzerland path people we're going to be doing something fun all right first things first increase the defense budget we're going to go ahead and get this done because this is going to allow us to build things faster or at least it's going to give us some military factories that we can go ahead and work with because a good swiss is an armed swiss that's what i say we like our enemies like we like our cheese with holes in them now it's time for the election of the president of the swiss confederation well what we're going to do is elect albert meyer or literally any of these in here and with albert meyer elected he is now the president of the confederation and what's going to happen is this is going to free up a spot down here for our political advisor the political advisor right now because based off the balance of power we get to choose for free but we don't really want that we want that to get better for us and be able to do more so here's what we're going to do first off council diplomatic effort we're going to take this which is going to change the balance of power to move towards the side of the federal council we're going to do that once 
Simultaneously, political advisor, the guy that we're going to be choosing, is going to be this guy, the militaristic nationalist. The reason why we want him first, and not, in my opinion, the really powerful one that was actually nerfed, the weapons designer, is because this guy doesn't give any kind of war support, but he does give an amazing 10% research boost. It's actually crazy, because this is one of the things that I'm talking about that Switzerland nerfed, because that thing used to be 20%. You could, for the entirety of the game, from the very beginning of the game, have a 20% boost to your research. That is insane. So no, militaristic nationalist, we want that war support and we want the war support because we're gonna go here from civilian economy down to partial mob immediately, which is gonna be helpful for us. This is also gonna start gradually boosting our non-aligned support within the country, which is something that we're going to need here after a while. Oh yeah, trial of a uh, national socialist murderer within Switzerland. Well, we're gonna give him a fair trial, not try to piss off the Germans too much. We don't wanna do anything with them because we want to kind of keep everyone sort of happy for as long as possible before we completely screw them over. You will see what I mean. All right, next thing up on here, we have 40 additional political power. So we're going to do council diplomatic effort one more time. We're just going to do that one more time in order to be able to weaken the council's power or rather weaken the canton's power to support the council specifically because we need that in order to be able to complete certain parts of our focus tree. Next up on here, as soon as we have a free research slot, we're going to go ahead and get radio because we are going to need to get field hospitals as soon as possible. The thing that we're going to make a beeline towards down on this side is going to be Spirit of St. Bernard, definitely what is one of the most powerful effects in the game, and it used to be completely broken. And here's why. You see this right now, where the Swiss can get the effect Spirit of St. Bernard, which grants field hospital trickle back plus 20%. So 20% of your losses automatically, even with no field hospital, will go back to your manpower pool, plus a 30% reduction in experience loss. That is awesome. That is an incredibly powerful effect to just have as part of your general army. But this thing used to be insane because it used to be a 40 and 50% if I remember correctly a 40% hospital trickle back or was it 50% either way you had 50% reduction in losses which meant that if you played through the game and then you got field hospitals if you check out field hospitals on this side the first level makes your trickle back 20% and experience loss of 10% meaning with field hospital one you'll have a 50% reduction right now but it used to be something along the lines of a 70 and 80% reduction in experience losses if you got to like 1942 I believe it is for the tech here by this point you're basically losing no men you could lose every single fight horribly and only lose 10 or 20% of of the amend that you were supposed to. It was so incredibly broken and naturally Paradox uh, patched it. This used to be one of my favorite little things to just mess around with people with. All right, next up on here, National Defense Fund. We're gonna go ahead and get those civilian factories. And the increased defense budget will be replaced with ongoing rearmament, which is going to cause us to have less consumer goods, exactly what we want. All right, between all these, we're probably gonna be at war on all sides. So we're gonna go with dispersed industry. That way we're gonna be a little bit safer because the world may burn, but Switzerland, well, we're gonna be the kindling in a lot of different fires. Well, there goes the nationalist Spain declaring war on Spain that's happening over here which means the fascist parties are going to get involved but we are doing nothing instead we're just reaffirming spiritual defense and not doing anything now between the three fortified border with italy germany etc well we're going to choose germany since they're probably going to be the biggest threat because come on italy italy right yeah yeah oh no i dropped the meatball in your general direction i hope it doesn't hurt you yeah no we we are totally fine in that regard all right border with germany fortified next step after this ban foreign nazi propaganda we want to do this and then immediately make a beeline over here to allied gold yep we're going to go ahead and want that real quick in order to be able to support things while we still have enough support for the federal assembly that is going to be crucial the trial eh, none of this matters let the court make their decision the only thing that's going to happen is they're going to uh, like have him be guilty that's it and nothing else really happens like it's genuinely not a big deal of anything in here nothing's going to happen in the historical ai let's see federal assembly that is still looking pretty good but it's not shrinking very much right now daily change minus 0 0.02 well you know what we don't want to let ourselves fall below the certain level on this side we are going to go ahead and do do you want to do where uh, all right hold on hold on hold on 31 percent support we're losing 0.1 a day which means it's going to drop down a good amount, but oh wait, we might get a president in that time. Okay, well, Broha first, we're gonna go ahead and get this because after this, we're not going to have the support of the Canton. So we need to go ahead and get this done quickly. Get ourselves an intelligence agency. Yep, the guy sentenced prison, none of that happens. That is a big deal, blah, 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 who cares? Yep, see, here it is. Elections for the president of the Swiss Confederation. Well, we're going to elect one of the democratic people and we're gonna go ahead and do that specifically because we want to be 
be able to get our next level up here for an unaligned. Where is he? There he is. Weapons designer, 10% research speed, support for unaligned, and production efficiency cap. That's nice. That's really nice. Very big boost to us from the beginning then. All right, there's Broha. We got that. That gives us an intelligence agency. Next step on here. Pro Helvetia reduces consumer goods and gives us more political power gain. That is nice. All right, there we go. There is Pro Helvetia. We cannot get Spirit of St. Bernard yet because we do not have field hospital research. But that's going to require one more thing. So that means it's time for allied gold. Let's go ahead and get that done. Now, this entire time that we're operating, we have to make sure that we are increasing relations with both Germany and also with Italy because we are racking up copious amounts of debuffs to our relations with these powers. And if it falls to negative 85, they will declare war on us. So you have to make sure that the entire time you are not only balancing your own political tree, you are simultaneously balancing the politics of other nations, which admittedly that part kind of sucks. If you go over here to decisions, you can actually see it here. Absolute neutrality. Yeah, that Germany is starting to dislike us, but uh, if we hadn't improved relations to uh, to plus 100, yeah, that, that would be very bad right now, and they would be attacking us right now. And here we go. With allied gold, that means we can now go over here to our decisions, and we can go and start trading gold, right? Where is it? Where is it? Open banks to democratic nations. Perfect. That is going to help the democratic nations like France, and simultaneously it is going to boost our own industry our construction our research our everything that's some good stuff though it's rng whether or not they accept it and in this case the first one they did we can do that two more times in the meantime Gotterbund. the time for bickering and factionalism is over it's time for switzerland to unite under a single democracy with a categorical authority to make sweeping measures all in, in the name of survival and taking over everything else but that's besides the point. Field hospital researched. Excellent. So with that done, that means we can go over here. We can actually start getting artillery in the first place because I haven't been producing any. That's that's not actually a good thing. Gotharbund is done. That means go over here to the other side. The only one that we really need to get over here, Spirit of St. Bernard. All this other stuff is pretty cool, but we don't need this right now because all this is dependent upon the cantons being in power and we don't want that right now. We need to do Spirit of St. Bernard and then immediately after that, focus primarily on everything over here for Presser Vollerberg and strengthen ourselves on this side. And by strengthen ourselves, I mean put ourselves to the left of the balance of power between Council and Canton. Canton? Can Canton. Canton. That's the word. I'm also going to go ahead and improve relations with Austria because that should be helpful. I don't know if that's actually going to increase the chance that they accept me, but we'll see what happens. Oh, right. And I should have been training these guys like the entire time, but I wasn't. So you know what? That's a loss of some experience. It's fine. It's not like I was going to be able to gain much from this anyway. But there it is. Spirit of St. Bernard. Excellent. Now we're going to need to go over here and do press for Volleberg, but that needs to be to the left of balance of power. We need to push ourselves over onto the federal council side, which means council diplomatic effort. That'll push us over here. Strength and military command. And after 30 or 50 days, that should put us over the level that we actually need. In fact, I probably should have done that earlier if I wanted to time it right, but I didn't. So you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Oh, and I realized before this thing goes incomplete, what we need to do is go over here and start strengthening the military high command and also a council diplomatic effort. This will be nice and quick. One of these is only 30 days. We're going to lose like three or four days in a focus, but you know what? It's fine. It's my mistake. I should have actually timed that better earlier and I didn't. So you know what? As soon as we have this, then it will be time to move on to Volleberg and see how that works. Because Switzerland still has some claims, people. Neutrality hasn't worked out for a number of the nations here, so you know what? Why should we bother? Spirit of St. Bernard is done. We cannot get this yet until it's to the left of the balance of between council and cantons, which that's not going to happen. Ooh, for actually a little bit more time than I planned. I should have timed that better earlier. Dang. I'm losing way more than just 10 or 15 days. There it is, 25%. Perfect, that put us here, which means press for Volleberg. Let's go ahead and get that done. I'm gonna be behind everything now. Line all of our troops up on the border. Will they accept? I'm pretty sure this one is primarily RNG. I don't know if there are any additional factors that affect it, but yeah, that's beside the point. We'll see. So now since we have the political power, let's go ahead and do council diplomatic effort and uh, strength military. No, no, consolidate council power. Let's see, that's 15% and 20%, so 35 percent what are we at now 42 yeah that should put us over into full council control excellent that's what we're gonna need this is for democracy the austrian government has accepted the request for volleberg's freedom 
Hey, hey, we got the settlement. Excellent. I actually didn't expect that to work here. But you know what? It did, and that is excellent. Now we can't continue anything down this side just yet. Can I do anything elsewhere at all? No, just fortify the border with France or fortify with Italy. Well, uh, got some days to wait. I don't want to piss anyone off, and I want to be able to do this to preempt Anschluss as soon as possible. So you know what? We're just going to let ourselves build up some political power and not do anything. So yeah, I'm going to miss a full focus, but it's going to save me some political power, and I'll be okay. I genuinely could have been smarter about that, but I, I did not do that, my friends. I did not do that at all. All right, council, diplomatic effort. As soon as this thing is done, four, three, two, one, there. Okay, full council control. That means we can go over here and preempt the Anschluss. November 1937, let's go ahead and do this, buddy. Austria will join Switzerland. Towns across the Alps will celebrate the union of the two Alpine nations. We will be able to better defend ourselves against the great powers that surround us. Finally, it gives us cores. We annex the full military. That is simply beautiful. And it gives me a huge amount of factories that I can work with. So that means military factory. Let's go ahead and get this started. We can start pumping out some mills because we're going to need that for our industry, I think. Next up on this, new Eidenschaft, protect Liechtenstein, change popularity. Oh, hey, okay, that's fine. I demand the French Alps. Less than 60% support for the Federal Assembly. Demand the Italian Alps. Okay, that's going to take a little bit of time. Actually, if we just wait slight amount of time here. Hold on. We are right at the level. 59.98. Are we there? Can we do it? Oh my God, we can. Uh, next up. Demand the Italian Alps. Demand the French Alps. Uh, Frenchies or Italian. Ah, uh, uh, you know what? Let's let's go after the French first. Let, let's see if they will go ahead and accept it. France accepts our demands. Yes, <laughs> we have taken it. We're surrounding Italy. Okay, you know what that means. You know what that means. Next up immediately after this. Do you want to go with the demand of the Italian Alps? No, they're more likely to accept based on the size of our armed forces and their opinion of us. Well, in that case, first things first, Switzerland on the offensive. Let's go ahead and get this, which is going to allow us to actually recruit our own soldiers. So we're going to do that. Switzerland has a freaking dockyard, buddy. We can make convoys now. How beautiful is that? Is that not just the most lovely thing you've ever seen? With its uh, in interesting naming sense that it has pulled up here, actually. Switzerland on the offensive. That means that all of our militia units now became regular units, right? Yes, they did. Okay. Swiss infantry divisions, which are regular plain infantry. Yeah, we're going to need to go ahead and boost those up here a little bit. In fact, here's what we're going to do. I don't even need to do anything. We have this infantry template four that was designed and built over here by the Austrians. We're just going to switch all of our guys over to that. Get a whole bunch more manpower in the field. We'll go ahead and get those. And we'll start training up a bunch of these crappy cheap infantry here just so that we can produce something. But with that done, that means that we can now go over here to Italy and start trying to pressure them. The more troops we have out in the field, the more likely they are to accept our demands. Oh boy, and I just realized all my troops down here have no supply. That That's not going to be good. We need to go ahead and fix that here real quick. Let's see, we've been racking up air experience this entire time. Let's go ahead and get industry liaisons because we need the research on aircraft as much as we can. Plus the light aircraft researcher here. That means plus an additional 30% research for our aircraft and not to mention the 23% that we already have means that we're going to get this stuff pretty quickly and start catching up to the powers that are all around us. Mm. And this is about to finish. So in order to increase our chances, I really want this to work. Please, for the love of God, work. Essentially, what we're going to do is threaten Italy here from all sides, and hopefully they go ahead and give in to us. If they do, we'll be in a significantly stronger position. If they don't, well, hopefully they don't side with Germany. Ah, oh, damn, and all right, Italy has rejected our Alpine claims. Okay, well, we can't do anything against Italy here from the looks of it. So screw it, the Alpine Redoubt, we're going to go ahead and get as much uh, defense up here as we can because war is going to break out in 1939, and we are going to try to capitalize that on on that war is going to break out and we're going to capitalize it like the true swiss merchants that we are is there's the alpine redoubt which means alpine protectorate no we can't do this less than 50 percent support for the federal assembly hmm now nah, we're almost there we are actually almost there for that part so let's just do protect Liechtenstein, and this is actually going to boost us up here and by then we should be able to go and do the next focus Yep, Hungary's getting rather aggressive over here. That is something that we're going to have to deal with and we need to keep in mind. The entire Wait, why why is this entire region filled with forts? What why is this entire thing filled with forts? It's all level 1 forts. Is the entire my entire country is forts? What the hell, man? That's what the Alpine Redoubt does. It's a single level fort across every single freaking tile. Oh my god. That is beautiful. It's all right. We've determined that we're going to protect Liechtenstein, a Swiss Navy, Swiss ship designs. This is just hilarious. I love this focus. It's just such a funny thing. Multi-purpose tanks. This is going to give us even more armor bonuses. Oh, 
Two 200% research bonuses for armor technology and extended supply lines, which grants supply range plus 12% and supply hub construction speed plus 25%. This is so powerful. All right, are we at 50? Nope, got to be slightly below. There we go. That should do it. Alpine Protectorate. Once we declare, everything that we have here is now a core. Never before have the Alps been united under a single regime until today. With the combined might, we can defend ourselves against any threat and extend that defense beyond the Alps. With our peaks as the impenetrable citadel from which our command will never falter. That's right, baby. The Alpine Protectorate. And it's time for a president. Let's see, what are we going to want? Research speed, military factory construction speed, plus 35%. Oh my god, those power are so strong i freaking love switzerland when decision is removed gain a research slot of course we want that are you kidding me the alpine confederation will gradually take that time to expand our arms industry yeah so not only am i going to research stuff faster i'm going to construct military factories faster and we are going to arm ourselves to the freaking teeth man so okay since we can't do any of these and start launching wars might as well start boosting up our own industry internally rolling fortress two 200 bonuses for the armor technology are you kidding me this is going to be so incredibly strong Beta Czechoslovakia, that is gone. Things are heating up. Uh, we're going to need to be able to defend these borders soon. All right, there's Rolling Fortress, and now it's time to extend the supply lines, the last step that we're going to need before war actually fully breaks out. Hungary is already part of the Axis, right? No, they aren't, but they are going to be, which means we are going to have to defend the side too. Either way, at least we finally have a fourth research slot, and that means we can get everything going over here. Yep, yeah, Italy there joins. Oh, wait, hold up. June? June? They're not launching it early. Oh, right, because they couldn't do the whole thing to get Anschluss. They're starting the war against Poland early. I did not anticipate that. Okay. And so you know what? Yeah, yeah, I think that's fair. I think what we're going to end up doing while Poland dies is we're just going to let Germany do its thing. We already weakened France and it doesn't really matter. So we're just going to wait for Germany to potentially weaken itself against the Soviet Union and build our forces up for the grand sweep. Yep, even without the industry of Austria, uh, Germany is just kind of sweeping through everything. There's not really much else that the Allies can do on this side, but, uh, you know, at least the Italians are going to be hemmed in somewhat when they're dealing over here with Greece eventually. Oh, Paris. Paris, you couldn't even hold out in these circumstances. Really? Yep, there you go. You have collapsed. Yeah, the whole border with France is now kind of inconsequential at this point. And there went most of my steel, so yeah, we're, we're losing all that. Time to support the United Kingdom then. Election magnet favors fascism. Well, he can say what he pleases. We don't need to endorse it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. The Swiss are disgustingly neutral in this conflict. We just took territory from everybody. It doesn't really matter. Wait, are they are they inviting me to the faction? I'm being invited into the fact. Why am I being invited into the faction? I don't want it to be in the faction. Or maybe I do. Maybe I do want to be in the faction. Hmm. You know, we will accept this, but we're not going to actually join. We're not going to join the conflict. Uh, good luck, guys. We're just going to stay over here and not have to deal with anything. Austrian Navy veteran offers his services. Ah, he and his family can stay in Switzerland and perform regardless. We don't care. Okay, never mind. There was Hungary joining the Axis. Nothing I can do about that here. All right. Uh, we will figure this out, my friends. All right, there goes the Soviet Union after Finland. There's a development up here. And whoa, okay, uh, there's actual fighting that's going on in Norway. That is genuinely surprising. I did not anticipate that happening up here. All right, let's continue to recruit some units, line up all these forces, and we need to build up our numbers. We have a lot of border around the area to defend, so we're going to need to prepare for that. Honestly, I am thinking that as soon as the Italians go after Yugoslavia, we are probably going to want to go after the Italians. Now, oh, there goes Italy declaring on Greece. All right, get ourselves some more rubber. That means that things are going to start heating up on this side. It's October 1940. If we can hold them out here, if they can just be distracted and lose as much of their equipment down here as they possibly can over the course of the next six or seven months, then maybe, maybe they'll be able to hold and the Allies can flood into this position and kind of hold Greece. I'd prefer that to happen. Yeah, there goes Yugoslavia joining the Allies. All right, it's getting more chaotic here. That's going to distract them on all sides maybe maybe this will divide them more yeah there goes yugoslavia okay that is done forces down here in the south are probably being wiped out yeah that's a pretty brutal kill okay but but greece greece is somewhat holding somewhat yep fortress switzerland just being a uh, uh basically a massive bitch here uh i might i might have waited a little bit too long to be fair uh it might have been prudent to me to go after and attack hungary or anything else while i possibly had the opportunity and now i now i now i kind of don't uh-huh. 
And there goes the German Reich after the Soviets. That means it's going to split all their attention, which is going to draw most of their forces away. Yep, they no longer are really on my border. They don't have the manpower to deal with it. Oh, yes, Germans, throw yourselves into the Soviet line. Do it. Do it while we still have a war goal. And how are the Italians? Oh, the Italians are not making any ground over here. Okay, you know what? I think it's about time. I think that with this, it's time to go ahead and attack. You know what? Let's do it. Call the allies. My troops in the north are holding. Yes, Germans, throw yourselves at my line. Oh, wait, Japan went after the United States. That means they're going to be involved. Oh, boy, here comes the chaos. And these guys are just throwing themselves at me along the line. Oh, hold up, hold up. That is actually a lot. That is actually a lot. Uh, yeah, you all need to hold out. Why are you taking so much freaking damage here? Okay, they stopped attacking in the north. We're holding out here just fine. Uh, here they are pushing. Fall of Vladivostok. Oh, oh, Japan is attacking from the other side. Okay, well, they're doing that here then. Wait, that means the Soviets are actually going to be split. Okay, well, let's keep on pressuring here on the side if we can. Oh, wait, we broke down all the way over here? How? How did we manage to break all the way down here? What the hell? Are the Italian units that weak? Oh my god, we just trapped basically the entire Italian army. It was that simple. It was that freaking simple. Just wait for them to be distracted in Greece and then clear them out. Oh my god! <laughs> There's physically no stopping us now. Nope, it's 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 gone. Switzerland, say, oh, wait, hold on. There was all my manpower. Uh, we're gonna need a lot of that. Service by requirement. Let's get that going. And Italy descends into a civil war. Excellent. They've now capitulated, which leaves us, wait, hold on. No, did we finish all this off? We basically finished all this off. Quick, while well, we have the opportunity, delete all orders, move up here to the Balkans, and the Balkans are once again turning into a giant mess, which to be fair, I mean, that's pretty much the normal thing in history. There's not really anything that I can change here in that regard. But what I can do is blitz through some of these and trap a whole bunch of units. There we go. Here's the Bulgarian units trapped. Wipe those out. Move on in. Just all these little pockets we have to connect. Okay. These are not working. This attack is not working. Just stop. Just stop. Just stop. You're embarrassing yourself. There we go. There's another group encircled. Wipe these out now. How am I still out of manpower? Is it? <laughs> I straight up do not have the forces to do anything here. Oh, wait. Oh, I realize I'm on military gun. Oh my God. No wonder I'm out of manpower. Okay. Uh, Schnell division and local police force. That, that makes makes a lot of sense. Yep, see, there's my manpower. There it is. And there it goes. Wow, it's gone already. Just all these little encirclements just keep on cutting off their divisions and we'll be able to choke them out here eventually. Nice, nice, nice. Just keep on moving down. Straight to the capital, Budapest. Taken. And let's push. Am I, oh my, I have no manpower. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. As the people are born, they're thrown into the military. Tis the life of a Swiss man. Or in this case, I guess an infant, since we're not able to do much else. Oh my God, the Soviets. The Soviets. How are the Soviets doing that well? It is 1942. You've already broken through Romania. The Germans weren't able to do anything. I guess without Austria or any other kind of support and losing the Italians, uh... Wow, never thought I would say losing the Italians was the downfall of the Germans. Normally in history, you probably wouldn't think that. Yeah, there goes Greater Hungary. They have fallen. Our air force is killing theirs. We're able to move on in just nicely. And we're sacrificing every single person as they are born inside of my country. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We've only lost 32,000 people too. I'm pretty sure this has got to be occupation. Oh, hey, thanks for the, uh, the, 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 the gun. Uh, yoink. Oh my God. That is 20, no, 30 divisions caught for the, uh, the, the, the Germans. Wow. Goodbye. Goodbye, I guess. Time to redeploy and push then. Bismarck Sea. Oh, oh, naval invasion. And the United States is already island hopping and getting close to the islands. Okay, Japan is going to fall. This has gone remarkably quick. If the world just allowed Switzerland to stand up to the bullies, everything would be okay, I would think. Oh, shoot. No, wait, hold up. What is this? You're letting the enemy fight back. Why would you do such a thing? There we go. Other encirclements. We just got to be smarter about this. I got a little bit too uh, trigger happy and lost a whole bunch of manpower. But you know what? It's fine. Oh, wow. No, we actually did lose a bunch of manpower. Don't worry. Bernard is going to be okay. The dogs will save our, our lives. Uh, I, th I think they carry alcohol. Um, it's not as good as it otherwise was before. Ah, are the Soviets invading from the north? They're genuinely going for Berlin. Wait a minute. Well, we can't just let them beat us now, can we? This is simply too beautiful. It's too beautiful. Swiss mercenaries grinding their way up north, taking out the Germans. Meanwhile, the Soviets struggle to deal with things here on the side. How sad. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Fighting in the mountains of Slovakia here. Never, never really a pleasant thing. It's okay, buddies. You, you died for a great cause. Getting me more land. The Soviet Union took Berlin. No, that is not what we want, my friends. 
I am sacrificing my entire country's population. I am turning my own people into Swiss cheese so that we can get more land to make cheese. It's a fitting science. Don't blame me. Oh, Paris is liberated. Excellent. And Germany has fallen apart. There's no way. There's no way they can maintain any of this. It is November 1942, about to be 1943. The entirety of Germany is occupied. And there it goes. There it goes. That's it. The Soviet Union has the largest chunk, but we also have a very significant chunk ourselves, which means it's time for us to achieve our rightful territory. Are you kidding me? I have to forfeit it. I have to for... Okay. Well, well, not exactly the borders that I wanted, but the Alpine Confederation has managed to take almost the entirety of every single mountainous pass in Central Europe, including the territory here of Alpine Italy, which is my puppet. So that's, you know, that, that's lovely. That, that's a nice little thing here. Guys, I forgot just how much fun playing Switzerland was. I have not been able to do this thing since I first had gotten the DLC for No Step... Not No Step Back, By Blood Alone. Since By Blood Alone came out, I have not done Switzerland. And my God, is this still, to this day, such a fun, weird focus tree. I'd be very curious to see what happens when it's uh, ahistorical and none of the factions are actually teaming up. Because maybe in that circumstance, you could actually 1v1 Italy pretty easily if it doesn't then join up with... Uh with Germany. But either way, that is the end of today's episode. Everyone, thank you very much for watching. Uh, uh, this is an absolute clusterfuck that uh, we, we, we did not need to create. And I'm probably going to need to create more styles of videos in the future here that shows more exploity things where it doesn't end up being clusterfuck, but instead allows us to abuse the mechanics and the AI to be able to dominate the world. Like in the case of what I just did here with the Bermontian. Either way, I hope you'll have a good rest of your day. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you all next time and goodbye, everyone.